Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to work with workbooks using VBA in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have a workbook which is saved on my desktop and this workbook has the name working with workbooks.xlsm. Now let me open another workbook here so I will go to new open here and it has opened a new workbook with the name book 1. It does not have any extension because this has not been saved. Now let me go back here in this workbook and I would now get into the VB editor mode so I would press Alt F11 and you can see here it has two VB projects. One is book 1 and the other one is working with workbooks.xlsm. Now I would be writing my codes here in this workbook which is working with workbooks.xlsm. Uh, so the first thing I would do is insert a module here I would go to insert module and in this module what I would first do is I would show you how to activate another workbook that is open so let me open uh, let me uh, write a sub and let's say activate workbook now in this case I already know this is the workbook the other workbook that is open and to activate it all I need to do is I need to refer to the workbooks collection and within workbooks I would simply give the name of this workbook in this case it would be book 1 because the current workbook right now is working with workbooks.xlsm and here I type workbook 1 and that's it there is no extension because this has not been saved and I say activate let's see what happens when I run this code as of now this is our current sheet and now when we run this code we switch to book 1 because now that workbook has been activated if you want you can now switch back to this workbook by writing another code where in this double quotes we would have this uh, string working with workbooks.xlsm so this is how you can activate different workbooks that you're working with all you need to know is the name of the workbook if you want to close a workbook again instead of activate you can close this so let me quickly show you how it works I would run this code and you can see that that of that verb VB project has gone away it's not there so that it this code has closed the book dot one let me open it again now in this case there were no changes made so for example here if I uh, write something uh, say I write my name now there are some changes in this and if I want to close this it would give me this prompt want to save your changes in book 2 and the same thing happens when I close this workbook using VB editor so in this case let's say I'm trying to close book 2 uh, and I run this code as soon as I do this it will give me this prompt now since this has never been saved I need to at least save it once but say for example I save this workbook so let me close VB editor let me go to save and I save this workbook on my desktop as say dot xlsm so I would save it as a macro enabled file and I save this now suppose I again make a change here I write the name of this course VBA jetpack and now again I get into the VB editor and here I again close this so if I run this code it oops I need to actually now put the extension as well dot xlsm because now it's book 2 dot xlsm now when I run this code it again asks me want to save your changes to book 2 dot xlsm and I would have to do this but if you want to do this thing using coding only then simply type true here which means that now it would close the workbook and it would save all the changes so now if I run this it has closed that workbook workbook and all the changes have been saved if you want to check we can go here and we can open this workbook so now if I open this workbook here you can see that the changes have been saved so if you don't want that prompt and you want to save this you can use this another important thing to note here is that and let me open uh, this workbook as well now another important thing that you need to know here is that there is something called as this workbook and this workbook would always refer to the workbook where the code is run says for example in this case I 
activate a new workbook so in this case for example I go to workbooks and I add a new workbook say simple thing I run this code I have a new workbook called book 3 now I activate this workbook workbooks book 3 dot activate and then I would say active workbook dot close now in this case what would happen is this would first activate workbooks book 3 which is this workbook and then it would close the active workbook which would be book 3 in this case if I change this to say working with workbooks.xlsm then that workbook would be closed but what if I only want to close the workbook where the code is run so in this case my code is in module 1 which is in working with workbooks.xlsm this may be active but I still want to close this workbook so to do that I would instead of using active workbook.close I would use this workbook now no matter where you uh, you are in which workbook or which workbook is activated it will always close the workbook which has the code so this workbook feature is important because sometimes you may want to refer to the workbook where you're running the code so you can do this using this uh, this keyword this workbook dot close now similarly uh, the way we have activated it and closed it we can also open new workbook say for example here I want to open a workbook which is on my desktop here I have a workbook called test.xlsm if I want to open this workbook I would go come here I would say workbooks dot open and then I need to give the file name within double quotes so in this case the file name would be C users Sumit Bansal desktop test.xlsm now obviously I remember this because uh, I just saved it but in case you don't remember this you need to have the address at least so that you can open this workbook now see what happens when I run this code it would open the text.xlsm workbook which is there on the desktop let me uh, remove this workbook let me actually close this workbook because there are too many workbooks floating around so let me close book 3 and let me close test.xlsm so I just have my workbook which is working with workbooks open here so this is how you can open a workbook if you want to add new workbooks you can simply use workbooks dot add feature and if you want to save a workbook then you can type the name of the workbook that you want to save so for example say here you want to save working with workbooks dot xlsm and you want to save this workbook then you can simply go on save now when I save this I click on this it will save this workbook but what if I don't want to save this as this name what if I want to save it as some other name then I can specify that other name and here I would have to spec again specify the entire uh, string which would be C slash user Smith Bunsen desktop and the new name so if you want to save it uh, as it is just as we do control s then you can use save but if you want to use another file name then you would have to use save as so these are a couple of things that you can do with workbooks again if you get stuck anywhere I always recommend go to object browser here within Excel you can simply type workbooks and when you do this it would give you this class go to workbooks and immediately you would come to know of all the members of this workbook these are methods with this, uh, with this flying cube green color cube and the finger pointing downwards is uh, the property so in this case you would know that you can add a workbook you can close you can open open a database or open text and there are all sort of things you can do you can count the total number of workbooks and you can do all these things so you can go through these members of the workbook if you're still not clear what to do simply right click and go to help and then it would open the help in the browser if you have any versions before 2013 then it would be inbuilt so the help would open right away without the internet connection as well so these are the things that you can do with workbooks in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day